so here are the next examples that you might want to try. Let us have example 3. Describe the roots of x squared plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. Following the same steps, we have step 1, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 3. Step 2, substitute. So we have 6 squared minus the product of 4, 1, and 3. 6 squared is equal to 36, and the product of 4, 1, and 3 is 12. So we have 36 minus 12, and that is equal to 24. Since the discriminant is a positive number and is not a perfect square, therefore... The nature of the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. This can be checked by determining the roots of the given quadratic equations using any of the methods of solving quadratic equations. For the next example, I will give you time to solve it on your own. So, describe the roots of x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. I guess you're ready. Here is step 1. Step 2. By substitution, we have... And what is 4 minus 20? So we have a negative discriminant. And step 3. So there we have it. Again, this can be checked by determining the roots of the given quadratic equation using any of the methods of solving quadratic equations. I hope you learned a lot in our discussion.